to the eGP processing tutorial. The first step that we need to do is to open the EG Lab. In order to do that, we go to the folder that contains the EG Lab and we just type EG Lab. This will put in the path all the folders that are needed in order, to, uh, in order for uh, MATLAB to recognize the EG Lab functions. Then let's load some sample data. We go to File, Load Existing Dataset. We take, for example, this one, the second. We press Open. And we see in the window here uh, some information about the signals that are loaded. For example, we have 19 channels, 50,001 sample points, 77 events, the sampling frequency is 500 hertz, 30 seconds, we don't have any reference, we don't have any channel location, nothing. The second step, let's say, is uh, we can uh, import the channel locations. In this uh, file, we have the 19 uh, channels of the QEG, the normal setup, which is the 19 channels uh, placed according to the 1020 international system. So we go to edit, channel locations. Here, we press OK, and then we go to read locations, we find the logs file or the CED file, the CAP19, let's say, open, auto detect, and voila, it's ready. And we press OK, and we see now that the channel location, they change to yes. Some amplifiers gives you on the data set, the one that they save, only the channel names. If the channel names are according to the international system we set, the uh, EG lab cannot, can detect them automatically. By the means that the uh, EG lab will put the coordinates of the electrodes automatically, okay? So the next step is to make the reference, okay? Now we will use the common average reference, how we go to tools, re-reference the data. Compute average reference is already checked, so we press okay. Let's inspect our data. How we do that? We go to Tools, Inspect Reject Data by Eye, and then Continue. We see that we have noisy signals, a lot of noise. We have blinks. We have 50, uh, the 50 hertz, the line inference. So let's go, first of all, to filter the signals. How we filter the signals? We go to Tools. Filter the data, basic FIR, we put here 0 0.5. I, I uncheck the frequency response because I don't want to uh, throw me a new window. I press OK, OK. Tools, filter the data, basic FIR, 45. OK. And then, we said that for the notch filter, in order to remove the 50 hertz, we put here 47 and 53. Uh, because uh, the filter is not, let's say, an ideal filter uh, with square corners, it needs a gradient in order to go to the 50 hertz. I remove also this, I press OK, OK. And then I inspect and data again to see how they look after the filtering. And you see how much cleaner they look after the filtering. So let's put them on the same scale, 31. You see that most of the uh, noise was removed. And what we see here actually is a very nice alpha wave. Okay. So then, if we scroll to the signals, we see some artifacts like the blinks here, like some uh, puffs here, blinks or uh, horizontal live movements. And then we need to remove this uh, artifacts. So we go to EG Lab, we do that with the ICA, tools decompose data by ICA. We choose run ICA 
with these command line options extended to an. I will not go uh, deeper on this, what is extended to an and so on. We need until ICA to, uh, to finish. Nice. Here you see that scaling components to RMS microvolt. It's, uh, it's what I told you. ICA gives you the components. The first components is those with the higher mean value. The second with the second higher mean value and so on. And we can check that if we press here mean. Let's see, let's check the mean of the components. Actually, it's not the mean, it's the RMS. I say mean because it's easy to understand. Root mean square. You see that the now what? No ketosis. The root mean square. Root mean square is you take the signal, you square it, you take the mean, the average of the signal, and then you root it. It's a, it's for signal processing. It's an index of the signal processing. Let me finish the tutorial. Uh, now, we decompose the data tools, decompose the data by ICA. I ah, we did that, sorry. Then tools, we need to inspect uh, and reject the data, so we need to plot the top of plot maps. It's also good to plot the scrolls of the uh, independent components, so we go to plot component activation scrolls. Here I tend to press norm in order to see more clear. So the first one, it's obvious that this is the blinks and so on. So the first one is going to be removed. We press the one button here and from accept, we turn that to reject and then we press okay. Then let's check the 13th probably. Uh, the six here from the from the activity. I see the six. Yes, the six should be removed. You see how it looks like. We press OK. To be honest, I don't see something else. Eight. No, wait, it's very flat. Just a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. The norm. Eight. No, wait. I think it's good. Probably there's something at the beginning, but rather than this, it's okay. Fourteen. No, fourteen. You have. What? What? It's okay. Uh, uh, Anas, you said 14. It has two here. Let's check the scroll, the 14 scroll. So far, so good. No. No. Uh, considering the top of plots, the most, let's say, possible candidates will be the 13 and the 15. But again, here we see also the contour uh, lines it's not so concentrated like this one, okay? So I think that this is the two uh, components that should be removed. We close this, we press OK, and then we go to Tools, remove components by data. There are already here, one, six. We press OK, we accept. We press OK, and then uh, we didn't have the, the second. I go back one data set in order to have this for comparison purposes. Then this is the proof by ICA tools. 
inspect object data by eye, continue. And you see, for example, this is the, you see here that we have an artifact, a blink, that now it's removed. While the rest, the alpha activity and so on, remain the same. And if we norm both, it's much more, let's say, visible. You see that? The red lines are some uh, events. Okay, now the second, the, the last step is to save the data, file, save current data set. We choose a name, uh, that to, for example, Clint. Save. And the tutorial is finished. We've made a very typical pre-processing of the easy signals. Thank you very much. Thank you.